Hi, welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today I'm going to talk about MIG welding, uh, wire diameter, why it's important. Uh, MIG is metal inert gas. When you're using CO2, it's a reactive gas, so it's not really uh, the MIG metal inert gas term is not actually appropriate. MAG, metal active gas, is, is um, more appropriate for that welding. But, by the way, we're going to talk about uh, wire diameter. Common wire diameter is split in America. Um, it's got its, its a thousandth of an inch and its metric conversion. And um, only in America do we know it by its thousandths of an inch. Most of the international standards are in millimeters. So you, if you weld a lot, then you um, kind of are familiar with the conversions and so on. But uh, so O23 is six millimeter, uh, O8 is um, 30.030, uh, nine millimeters, O35, uh, one millimeter is uh, O40, and 1.2 is O45. So those are the conversions that uh, most uh, professional welders know in their heads by now. Well, why don't I just weld everything with O35 and and just call it at that? Uh, and a lot of people do. Uh, when you're tack welding thin gauge sheet metal uh, car bodies and so on, you're going to have to stitch weld it like pop, 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 pop. You won't be able to run a continuous speed because O35, the, the amperage uh, necessary to melt the metal is going to just blow through 18 gauge steel. So. Uh, O23 would be a better choice for that, where you can uh, put less metal in with lower amperage and a, a cooler weld uh, on the thin gauge metal. And conversely, when you get to big, heavy, thick plates, um, the big wires, uh, 0.52, 0.62, uh, or 052, 062 wire, you can put a lot of metal out really fast. Here's a bunch of contact tips, and that's how I'm going to show you the difference in diameter size. Uh, I don't think you could tell the difference if I had pieces of wire here on the table, but maybe with the contact tips we can see. So, 023, uh, 6 millimeter, 08, uh, 0 0.030, uh, 9, 035, 10, um, 040. So, different um, uh, size tips, and these are the contact tips. They screw, here's the um, MIG welding gun, these just screw into the end of the MIG gun, and this is uh, the wire feeds through. And you need to have the appropriate tip for the wire size that you're feeding. Uh, so these are the basic uh, size contact tips, 0 0.6 millimeters, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1.0, 1 1.2, 1 uh, 023, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, 030, very close equivalent of running a um, one eighth uh, stick welding electrode or SMAW rod. Just some voltage and amperage basics for the different uh, wires that you're going to be feeding through here. So, O23, uh, 15 to 18 volts and uh, maybe 70 to 100 amps. The um, O30 wire is uh, 19 to 22 volts. Um, at 90 to 120 amps, and this is um, this is a you know kind of a low range. You can go, uh, you can increase your ranges in all of these, and and have uh, you can move from the short circuit uh, transfer method up into the spray. So this is kind of the low end of these. Uh, the 035, 22 to 25 volts, uh, 100 to 140 amps. The uh, 040 or 0 0.040, uh, 23 to 26 volts at 110 to 150 amps, and um, the 045 is 23 to 26 volts, 
120 to 150 amps. And like I say, the ranges can go way up on these, or substantially up, when you move from uh, short circuit to globular to spray transfer. So these are some MIG weld basics, uh, some basic parameters for for uh, wire diameter and what the application is, amperage settings, uh, voltage settings. So diameter is going to be changed by additional factors. How fast do you want to put the weld material out? How big is the weld? Uh, what position are welding in? Uh, so additional factors are going to come into play as to to setting your amperage. Do, do you want to weld it relatively cold? Do you want to weld it hot? And MIG has a lot of variables, which is nice because you can adapt to a lot of uh, different situations with with um, just uh, one wire. Uh, uh, O35 will do a, a lot of, of different applications. And so a lot of people would just wire uh, a weld with O35 wire. Um, like I said, just some MIG welding basics. Uh, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching at Longevity's Learning Lab.